Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great males, the whole Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four points of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And the title of what is a uh, sit down lesson is going to be uh, now it's high time to wake out of sleep. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And knowing, knowing the time is now, it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than we believe. Right, because the reason why I say this and I choose this for this uh, sit-down lesson, you know, uh, because, you know, now it's, uh, now it's the high time to uh, wake out of sleep. Because, you know, you're seeing these uh, prophecies going on. You're seeing wars and rumors of wars. Uh, nations will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. The second world was passed. Behold, the third world coming quickly. You know, he's saying uproars of the peoples, earthquakes in diverse places. You know, uh, you know they should regard nor their kings nor their princes. You know, he's saying all these uh, different. You know, you're seeing all these different signs going on in these last days. You know, now it's for, now it's time for the children of Israel to wake out of their sleep. Now, wake out of their slumber and come back to the Heavenly Father to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability and come back to acknowledge who you are as being the children of Israel, which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. They are the true Israelites. They are the true uh, biblical Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. They are the real true. The real 12 lost tribes of the children of Israel, which is here and today, and been scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know. So now it's a hot time to wake out of sleep because you're seeing all these different things going on. And then, like the scripture says, uh, if a house is divided, which is cannot stand, you know, a house that's divided, it definitely is not going to stand. And you uh, definitely seeing the uh, thing is going on with the MOTB, which is the Karagma, the uh, you know what the uh, the implementing on your uh, right hand and then your forehead as well too. The digital currency is gonna be from uh, paper cash. Is going to transfer from paper cash all the way to the uh, full implement of digital currency as well, too. And, you know, a lot of people are refusing taking the uh, the waters. You know, it's going to be uh, uproars of protests between two different separate groups. They are uh, pro-waters that support it. And then you got the ones that don't support the waters. So you're going to see the, a division between them. Then you're, going to, <clears throat> then you're going to continue to see continue of a uh, division of political leaders of uh, different groups that are uh, not supported and trying to, uh, you know, these governor officials, you know, they uh, just like the guy down in Texas, uh, I believe, I don't know, I forget what his name was, uh, but he had banned for the, uh, you know, for the implementing of uh, bringing out and rolling out the uh, the orders or the mandates of the uh, waters. So, you know, he uh, fully implementing, banning that. So, you know, there's going to be a division between those two on either side, the uh, liberal side or the conservative side. You know, we're going to have uh, political figures going against each other with that, you know. So, you know, it's a lot of many uh, different things going on in these last days. And then you still see earthquakes and floodings in diverse places as well, too. 
So, you know, that's why it's, uh, now it's high time to work out of sleep, the children of Israel, you know, which you, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. You know, now it's uh, the high time to wake out of sleep because you're seeing all these prophecies going on. You know, in these last days, like I mentioned before, uh, the nation shall rise against nation and the kingdom against kingdom of war, evil, and the pestilence. You know, earthquakes in diverse places, and you're starting to see more of that increasingly. You know, uh, and then like another uh, one as well too. Uh, you you should have a a person. Uh, you should have a person uh, to be an enemy of his own household. You know, you're starting to see more cases of uh, of worlds of violence going on, of different type of groups going at it against each other. You're seeing different type of isolated situations of. Uh, things because you know you know because like the scripture says for the love of many shall wax cold and you're seeing the love of many waxing cold out here and you're seeing the many of uh waxing worse and worse out here as well too so it's it's about time to get right with the most high and it's uh yeah i was shy as well too and you call jesus christ was shy i was shy in the hebrew so now it's high time to wake out of sleep and get back onto the righteous side. You know, get back into the Holy Scriptures and, and acknowledge who you are, that you are the children of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. You are the true biblical Israelites, the 12 tribes, the 12 lost sheep of the house of Israel, according to the biblical scriptures. So now it's a high time to wake out of sleep. That's the reason why I chose this topic. Because uh, the door of repentance is closing. Because you're seeing all these different uh, prophecies unfolding in these last days. And expect it for it to increase in these last days as well too. Now this is a message to the children of Israel. So called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And the speckled bird Israelites as well too. Now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Because now is our salvation is nearer than we believe. Because you're seeing all these prophecies happening right before your eyes. And more uh, pending upcoming prophecies still to come as well, too. Because that MOTB is going to come in full effect. You know, the dark winter with the food shortages and the electronic goods shortages and everything right there. So it's best to uh, stockpile up food and stuff for your houses and stuff like that. Because as you see in the news, everything, you know, is going up with the gas prices going up and stuff like that. Gas prices for your car, uh, gas prices uh, for your uh, gas bills and stuff like that. And then the importing and exporting of uh, storage stuff. And uh, the lack of storage of uh, deliveries and stuff like that. You starting to see that over there in the UK. Then over here in the United States as well too. Of uh, shortages of uh, deliveries that come in from these uh, these stores and everything like that. And the prices are going up high every time, you know. And then I read a news article of uh, why, did it, you know, all the stuff is uh the prices are going up in the stores uh like sell certain things it'd be it'd be limited because there's so many people so I was trying to stock up to get stuff and then like i'm uh did in my previous videos like uh uh one uh person from wgn news even though i said this before my previous video but you know it's showing that uh it's possible it might be more shortages of things to come, you know. That's why you you know, you want to ain't gonna expect to see much delivery stuff. So uh one expert one re, re, uh retailer expert says, you know, it's best to like uh stock up on stuff now because you know, the shortages is coming and you're starting to see them like on store shelves. You you might not see much uh, 
things on store shelves of uh, certain items that you try to get, you know, like foods, water, you know, drinks and stuff like that, and et cetera, you know, for an example of uh, cause those uh, possible uh, shortages, electronic shortages, food, goods, all the important stuff, all the basic stuff that you need in your household, you know, cause that might be a possible of uh, a continuum of shortages, you know. Cause you know, the reason why I'm bringing up all these things because you know, these are the uh, signs of the times that we are living in. You know, expect to see more of these things to ravel and unfold in these last days as well too like i mentioned before you know the nation should rise against nation kingdom against kingdom war evil pestilence the uh, second world was passed and behold the third world coming quickly and these nations gearing up preparing for war and everything like that so uh all these uh multiple different things happening in the earth today so now it's time for the uh, children of israel to it's a uh, now it's high time to wake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than we believe because we're seeing the signs of the times you know so now it's high time to wake out of sleep children of israel so-called negroes latinos and native americans and the speckled bird reservoirs as well too the twelve lost sheep of the house of Israel, the real children of Israel, according to the biblical scriptures. You know, according to the biblical scriptures. Now you still have time to wake up. Now it's time to get right and get back to the uh, the righteous side and get back into the good graces of the heavenly Father. You have on this son, you have a shot. Like the uh, scripture says, uh, seek him while he may be found, because he's still, he's still found in these last days as well, too. You know, because the door of repentance is, is closing very soon, you know, it's closing very short. So now it's our time and we got to sleep, Israel. Even though, uh, like the scripture says, one third of remnant of Israel is going to be saved, and two thirds is not, a lot of them are not going to make it. So while the door of repentance is still open, so now it's high time to wake out of sleep and come back to acknowledge who you are as, you know, being the Israelite. You so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. Of course, it's the uh, children of Israel, according to the biblical scriptures. <laughs> so, you know, um, other than that, I just hope this was at, uh, edifying. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash, double understood the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching this truth 30 plus years and still going strong. And I say shalom to the elders, apostles out there, big ups to y'all, definitely for sure. And uh, shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom. And once again, of, um, of the introduction of my uh, video, of the sit down lesson, and I'm uh, repeat it again, you know. Romans 13 and 11, like the scripture says, now it's high time to wake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than we believe because we are seeing the signs and we're living in some biblical uh, prophecy times and expect to see more uh, prophecies unfold in these last days as well too. So with that, I will say Shalom.